Mr. Speaker. The wild rose refer to the Fraser Institute report on health wait times, while the health minister take, takes comfort in the Kaihai report. Well, I like to look at HS reports. Unfortunately, Mr. Speaker, however, the HS's latest quarterly performance report, due at the end of September, has yet to be released. To the Premier, what is the expected wait time for the wait times report? Here, here. You know, Mr. Speaker, as, as our Honourable Minister has said in this House in the last week, we are absolutely committed to building a public health care system that improves the quality of life of Albertans. And over the past year and a half, the work that we've been able to do to shorten wait times has been very important, Mr. Speaker, and I'm very proud of the work that the frontline workers have done in Alberta Health Services to ensure that ha that happens. As our Minister says, we will always strive to do better. We have seen constant improvement, Mr. Speaker, and that is what we will continue to do. And I will just take a moment moment to say, can we please keep some of this in perspective? Let's keep in perspective the fact that if we're really honest with ourselves, Albertans tell us that they get care when they need it, and they have confidence in the health care system. So let's keep it, Mr. Speaker. Let's also keep in perspective some of the rules. There's too many interjections going on. Let's go over your first supplemental, Honourable Leader. Mr. Speaker, the Premier needs to exercise the art of listening. The question was, where's the report? Well, Mr. Speaker, results in five major wait time categories were rather consistent mm. in the previous four AHS reports. For example, hip surgery, fail. Failed. Knee surgery, fail. Failed. Cardiac surgery, Failed. fail. Failed. Seniors in hospital Failed. waiting for long-term care, fail. Failed. Emergency wait times, you guess it, fail. Failed. To the Premier. I imagine you wouldn't want to be embarrassed heading into your leadership review. Is that why this report is being delayed? <laughs> Honourable Associate Minister. It's evident what uh, the facts may bring, and, and I'll read out some of the, uh, the recent facts on wait times in Alberta, including a 9% reduction in hip surgery wait times, a 15% reduction in knee replacement, 22% reduction in cataract surgeries, 10% for bypass surgeries, and set to reduce cornea replacement wait times from three years to 14 weeks. Pass. Facts. Pass. the fact is we're spending $5 billion more today compared to five years ago. The population has only gone up 11 percent and, you're failing. and we're failing. Speaking of wait times, according to the most recent EMS performance measures, 50 percent of the time in Edmonton, when Albertans call 911, ambulance is arriving late in life-threatening emergency cases. This is in Edmonton. Can you imagine how bad it is in Grand Prairie or Fort Mac? To the Premier, why should the odds of an ambulance arriving on time when your life is in danger be about the same as winning a coin toss. 50-50. 50 Premier. Again, uh, Mr. Speaker, it's very clear that ever since I've been an MLA, we've invested more in health care than any other province across this country. And ever since that point, we've grown in our population, demands have increased, and I'm very, very proud in rural Alberta, I live in rural Alberta, about the care that we get from our professionals in, in health services. Mr. Speaker, we'll continue to increase those investments in health care as we speak. 